Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're going to be talking about canary tokens. If you guys aren't familiar with canary tokens, you're going to learn today. But uh, if you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe, like, and share. And if you guys are returning, let's have some fun. So we're going to talk about what are canary tokens, when you would use them. These are pretty cool little tokens, right? But we'll get into that in a second. So let's jump onto the desktop and go from there. All right, so here we have what are canary tokens. So if you guys aren't familiar with canary tokens, that's fine. So it's like putting little breadcrumbs around your network or on a web server or on stuff on the interwebs. For example, I can create a URL, put it out on the internet and see who clicks on it. And then once you click on it, we'll get your information, your IP address, your location. And why is this important, right? Why do you need this? You need it because if you want to have something in your network, for an example, and you want to have multiple networks, different kinds of segments in your network, maybe a network share on a NAS, maybe you have a couple client computers, you have a server, you have whatever you have. And now what you can do is plant these little guys everywhere. And if an attacker, you know, for example, we'll put something like, um, let's uh, cancel this. Um, we can put something like, uh, you know, W2-2023, whatever, 2022, because we're in 2023 now. And now for an attacker, like, oh, look, that's someone's tax information. Or you can put, you know, a PDF, say, birth certificate. And maybe when they click on it, they think you're going to get your birth certificate or social security number, whatever the case may be. Just have it named something juicy, right? And um, yeah, so as we see here, uh, canary tokens are a simple way to tripwire things, right? So we can trick people. We can. It's very, very cool and very useful for these kinds of uh, you know situations. So think about this. You know, maybe you heard of honey pots, right? So you have a honey pot on the internet. It looks juicy. Has a whole bunch of ports open. Maybe an attacker will like try to attack that because it looks juicy, right? It looks attractive. So now once they try to attack it, now once they start maybe trying to get a get request, trying to get something out of that honeypot as a blue teamer or as a incident response team, now we can respond to that incident, right? So hopefully that makes sense. And we'll see all this stuff in action shortly. So stay till the end. So why does this matter? So network breaches happen. So say, for example, God forbid your network or your, net or your systems get breached. Now, once, you're, once an attacker is inside your network, they're going to try to look for some kind of files that are attractive, right? Like I was just saying, maybe social security numbers, maybe passwords, maybe um, salaries, maybe some stuff in HR, whatever the case may be. And normally, right, normally, like in an environment, the naming conventions for servers are pretty obvious. Maybe you have DC for domain control or FS for file server or DFS for distributed file system. And whatever these things are, and if an attacker knows these acronyms and what they mean, which they probably do, they'll look at you know, network share. So, okay, for example, if we have FS01, file server 01. Now, if I'm on your network and I do a, re, you know, a ping or an art request, to go to FS01, and now I get your IP address for an example, 10.10.10.10, whatever. Now I can do whack, whack, 10.10.10.10, whack, maybe C dollar or E dollar, whatever kind of drive, drive letter with a dollar sign to see if there's any hidden shares or whatever's on that machine. And, or you can just do whack, whack server name and see if there's any shares. And you can also create network shares with Canary tokens. So sorry for that little rant, but I think it's super important while I'm demonstrating this. So like it says here, network breaches happen from mom and pop stores to megacorps, even governments, right? So <laughs> actually, that's pretty interesting. But, um, but yeah, so canary tokens are free and quick, painless way to help defenders discover if you've been breached. And we're going to see that shortly. Right. So by having attackers announce themselves. So say I'm an attacker and I want to emulate myself as an attacker and I want to click on something and we're going to see that shortly. 
right? So how they work. And you can just Google, you know, Canary tokens and you can go to help.canary.tools and you can see how all this stuff works, right? So we can get web hooks, we can do uh, web bugs, a whole bunch of different kinds of uh, examples here. And like you said, like Windows folder, you can see this here. You can set up Windows folders, blah, blah, blah. And you can see, okay, which server, you know, this is a server, this is a NAS, a network attached storage. Oh, a network yeah, access server, I don't know. Network attached storage, I think it is. Man, now I'm forgetting. But anyhow, so you can see Windows folder, and we're gonna see that shortly. And you can just say, okay, dropped in confidential on web server 01 and blah 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 and download the token and then you can place this inside of in this case they're doing it inside of confidential so because confidential looks pretty uh pretty juicy right because confidential as an attacker it's like okay i guess i want to see that right so we can extract it blah 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 this is the canary token in this case step 10 no new alerts but now I'm gonna go ahead and extract it, blah, blah, blah. And then we get an alert, right? And we'll see that shortly. All right, so let's go ahead and get to business. Enough yapping, all right? So here we are. So we have this um, Canary token. Uh, we can select what kind of token we want. And we're gonna do a simple, very simple. We're gonna do a Word document, pretty easy. You can do Excel. You can do a whole bunch of stuff. A WireGuard VPN, cloned website, QR code, blah, blah, blah. You pick your poison, but my poison is gonna be a Word document. And I wanna go ahead and use my email. And then I'm gonna say, for an example, this is a reminder note. Um, uh, blah, 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 blah. I wanna put Pat's PC. I don't know, click on link or click on doc. You may. All right, so now I wanna go ahead and create this Canary token. So once this Canary token is Create it, now we can go ahead and download it. So let's go ahead and download it. We're gonna go ahead and put it in, uh, let's go ahead and just make a, I wanna put a new folder called don't touch. And I wanna put a little, right? Because it says don't touch, some people are gonna to touch it, right? It's like a kid, right? Like don't touch the, don't touch the hot stove, it's hot. And what do you do? The kid goes over there and touches it and gets his little hand burned. So, all right. So as you can see, let's go ahead and go to documents. Don't touch here. And we have this Word document, right? So let's go ahead and open this. Go to properties. I want to go ahead and, oh, it, it is opening up as, uh, as um, in my Word document. So Microsoft Word. Okay, so let's go ahead and double click on this. But before we double click on it, let's make it sound juicy. Let's say don't touch. So um, uh, I'm just gonna put passwords. Passwords 2023 updated. Okay, so now this looks pretty juicy. Like if I was able to get onto this machine, don't touch. Oh, of course, I wanna go ahead and double click on it. I wanna touch it. And then I don't have that office activated, so that's fine. Or this is just a, an example on a VM that I ran. And then I'm like, where's the passwords? Holy moly, there was nothing. I just got, I got, what did it, punked? Got punked. All right, so now here on my Gmail, we have this alert. Your Canary token was triggered. All right, so let me bring this in a little bit. So we can see here, token reminder. This was Pat's PC clicked on document. What kind of token was it? MS, Word. Hopefully we can blow out this uh, IP address so I don't get hacked and up here too. Um, and yeah, so now what we can do is management details. So, so if we come down here to Canary, uh, Canary token management details, if we click on here, all right, so this is, Oh, it was triggered. It was triggered once. Let's view the history. So here we are. Hopefully we can blank out this uh, IP address right here. And right here. Hopefully we can blank out all this stuff. All right, so but if we click on this, now we can see Pat's PC. Everything is here. 
And yes, I'm in Florida. And you can zoom in. And you can see, oh, let's exit out of here. We, you can see that I'm near West Palm Beach. Yes, I am. I'm not going to use no VPN. I'm not going to try to hide myself. Um, but you can come pay me a visit. Come hang out. Let's do uh, have some fun. All right, so that's that. So more information, let's see if we click on this. It's the same thing. Pretty much brings us right back to the same thing. This is the history of this token. And that's about it, folks. So, and I found this, uh, this GitHub page here with the Canary tokens as well. You can, you know, tinker with this, you can play around and uh, you can check out different kinds. I guess these are all Python scripts. And um, yeah, so it's from Canary tokens. And, uh, you know, you can go ahead and see some configuration. Excuse me, um, configuration out of outgoing SMTP. So this is, you know, for mail servers. So yeah, that pretty much concludes the video. So thank you so much for viewing. And until next time, guys, have a good day. And if you have any questions about this, feel free to hit me up on Discord or on, you know, comment below. However you want to reach out to me, you guys know how to reach out to me. And um, soon I'll be, uh, I guess in the next couple of days, I'll be announcing the winners for that giveaway. So stay tuned for that. And there was a lot of, <laughs> a lot of requests. I thought, I, I didn't know, I didn't think it was going to be that many uh, uh, forms coming in. Obviously, like I, I skimmed through them and I, I picked about 15 already, 15 or 20. And I want to do like a little spin a Rooney thing. And three of them, there's going to get three winners. And I'll email you and make sure you send me your right address so I can mail you whatever you wanted. And uh, yeah, I really appreciate everyone participating. And thank you, everyone, for helping me get to 30,000 subscribers. We're almost at 31,000 already. So let's just keep on growing. And if you have any questions, and if you ever want to come on the channel with me, I'm more than happy to have you on, shoot the stuff, talk about IT, talk about security, talk about life, whatever you want to do. If you want to hang out for 30 minutes, hit me up and we can make that happen. All right, guys, thank you so much and have an awesome day.